Jackie, 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 a Jackie, a Jackie, a Jackie, a Jackie, 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 Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Forenza, aka the girl with big hair. I'm back with another video, but before we get started, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that little bell button next to it so that you can get notified when I post new videos. <laughs> So today I am honored and privileged and so excited to be able to use the new Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This was a collaboration that was dropped, I think, last Monday. So <clears throat> the whatever last Monday was, like, I don't know at this point, <laughs> but um, I got it in the mail like, at the end of last week and I just been so busy this week that I hadn't had an opportunity to actually use it. But today I did and I definitely want to give you guys my thoughts. So if you're interested in seeing what I think about the new Jackie Ina and ABH collab, make sure you stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I have already done my base for the most part. Um, I am going to go ahead and dig right into this palette. Um, so I watched Jackie Ina's, um, uh, I don't know if it's a review because it's her own product, but, um, I can't get this open. What is happening? Oh, there we go. Um, I watched her video on this palette. She swatched it, which I appreciate it. Um, and she used the product and talked a little bit about like the process to create the palette and whatnot. Um, so I have done that. I have not, however, used any, watched any other, um, reviews on this. And I'm going to be honest, um, this palette is my very first Anastasia Beverly Hills product. Um, well, sorry, a palette. I've used other products of theirs. Um, and mostly I did not purchase any of the other pa pa palettes. Mostly I didn't purchase any of the other palettes because, um, they're just very expensive and I just feel like there are other black owned brands. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills is not black owned, but there are other brands that are black owned that, um, you know, uh, are cheaper and just as great in terms of quality. So when I saw that Ms. Ina released a um, palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills, I was like, oh, sis needs that. So I purchased it when it dropped um, and I'm very excited that I did. But first and foremost, can we get into this packaging? Like, you can see on camera that it's like iridescent. I think that's the right word, but when you look at it straight on, it just looks like, you know, a normal little color. But when you turn it, it's purple and green. She said that on her video, but it actually looks much better in person and it's pretty heavy. I love the texture of the case. Like, it feels like what a briefcase, like a crocodile briefcase would feel like. So that's very on brand for her, I think. But when you open it up, y'all, what? Can we get into this palette real quick? Like, these colors, it was clearly, and she even talked about this in her video, it was clearly well thought out, which I appreciate so much. My understanding is that every Anastasia Beverly Hills palette comes with this little brush down here. So, um, I probably won't use it, but shout out to them for that. They cost enough, they should give me a brush, a whole brush set, frankly. So yeah. I'm going to just go in. I'm not going to do no swatches in true Jackie Ina fashion. I will not be swatching because, as Ms. Ina says, um, swatches are a scam. But the first thing that I love about this palette, which I was so excited about when she talked about it in her video, are the names. Like, they are so perfect 
for her. Um, so I've got this little look that was inspired by a look that I saw on Instagram. So I'm very excited to dig into ginger, edges, credit, and wigglies. Wigglies is my favorite, or rather her favorite. And so I'm really excited about trying this one out. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to give y'all a little cut crease situation for this Jackie Ina palette. And if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know that cut creases have been my thing lately. So my bad. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go into Ginger. Um, again, this is my first experience with a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I'm very excited to see what this pigment is hitting on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Ginger and I'm going to put that just all over my crease. And I'm going to kind of drag that up into my brow bone just to get rid of the, um, that color that is the concealer that I use to clean my brows up, which desperately need to be, um, done. Next, I'm going to actually go into edges, which is this color right here. And I'm going to put that like right over and I'm using the same brush just get ooh ooh yeah come through this color is everything mhm mm i'm going for a some somewhat of a blown out look so i'm not focusing the color in any one particular area frankly Shout out to Aunt Jackie for, it's so funny that I call her that because we're definitely the same age. In fact, I'm a couple months older than her. <laughs> um, but shout out to her for, you know, being intentional about creating this palette for women of color who um, have deeper skin tones. Because what I've heard, um, and again, this is my first time using an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, but what I've heard about ABH palettes is that they tend to come off pretty ashy on darker skinned women. And, um, you know, I feel like Jackie has said that she has had to just kind of make them work, make it work rather. I'm going to take a more condensed fluffy brush um, and I'm going to go ahead and go right into credit. Oh, oh, credit which is this dark, deep brown. Um, this is actually one of the shades that she said that she created for, um, you know, our dark skin sisters. Um, and I'm just going to focus that right in my crease, actually. I don't want to blow that out too much. I'm just deepening that up uh, for when I go ahead and cut my crease. Also, in true Jackie fashion, I put um, some... Uh, powder underneath of my eyes to catch any fallout. Um, those of you who don't follow Jackie may not know that Jackie is not afraid of fallout and also doesn't hold that against a good palette. Um, what she taught me is that, generally speaking, good pigments are going to create a little bit more fallout. So it's not the end of the world when it happens. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease. Got a little leftover concealer on my hand, but I'm just going to add a little bit more. Do y'all want to see a tutorial on cut creases? I've only ever done like IG videos on it. I've never actually done a YouTube. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm still trying to figure that out for myself. Um, or rather, I'm still trying to perfect it myself. Um, but would y'all be interested in a video? Because if so, I could post one. Y'all, I'm so excited about using Wigglies. I actually think I'm, I am going to use this brush. Um, oh, maybe not. It's fluffy. <laughs> it's 
It's a fluffy. Oh, it has two sides. Oh, okay. All right, Anastasia. I'm cool with that. Um, this one is like a fluffy, a flat fluffy brush. So I think I could use this to pack on Wigglies. So again, Wigglies is this color here, which according to Ms. Ina, um, this is her favorite color in the palette. So I'm about to go ahead and just pack that on my um cut crease that or the crease that I just cut out. I think I'm gonna start from the end uh the the middle because I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna put this all over or all over the cut crease. A lot of the times I like to put for these for a half cut crease, I like this color is everything. Ugh. Oh yeah, I'm putting this all over. Yep, it's happening. It is like the perfect foil. Look at that. Oh, Jackie. Oh my God. It's going on beautifully. And even I thought I was going to have a hard time with this brush, but I'm not. It's perfect. It's perfect. Y'all, do y'all do y'all see that? Oh my God, it's so pretty. Jackie, I get why this is your favorite color, sis. I'm gonna flip it around and take credit again and just blend that in to um, the edge of the cut crease and into Wigglies. I'm like in awe at how easy it's going on. So I tend to go straight for my um, Juvia's Place and I'm not trying to compare, okay? Let's just be clear. You know, I love Juvia's Place and I think they are, um, you know, up there in terms of quality of their eyeshadows. But I tend to grab one of my Juvia's Place palettes when I am doing a cut crease and I want a, you know, a good foily shadow or a shimmer shadow. Um, there are, there is a difference in the two of those, just FYI, but, um, I tend to have to dig in to the pan when I'm using my Juvia's Place, um, brushes and, I mean, I'm sorry, my Juvia's Place, uh, palettes and generally speaking, I have to, uh, use a, like a actual eyeshadow flat brush because that's really the only way that I'm going to be able to get the pigment that I need for a cut crease. So the fact that I'm able to use a fluffy brush, like a fluffy flat brush and still get, be able to apply it in the way that I need it to and still get good pigment. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm shook. I am. I'm gonna I'm just be real, real keep it 100, 1000. I'm a little bit shook. All right, so to finish, and I'm here for that brush too. It's actually really good. To finish off this look um, on top, I'm actually gonna take credit again, and I'm just gonna uh, use that as sort of an eye uh, liner for the inner corner of my eye, I mean, inner part of my eye. So I already got it here, right? And I'm just gonna take that and drag it across my lid in a thin line. I'm sorry, right across my, uh, the line of my, t the top lid. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna pop some lashes on off camera, finish up my face, and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. I went ahead and finished my face off camera. I popped on my lashes. But you know it wouldn't be a Jackie Ina look without an inner corner highlight. So I went ahead and popped on Trust Issues, which is this color right here. And I put that in my inner corner. It looks white in the pan. Like if you're, well, on camera, it looks white, right? Like this looks like straight white, but it's actually a shimmer. And in the pan, you can see that it's kind of like a gold, like it has gold reflex. And then obviously when you pop it on, it's definitely gold. I will say that I am absolutely shook by these like foil colors in the pan. So 
Um, Wigglies, I definitely think is a foil. Soleil, Soleil, I think, is a foil. That's this color here. Um, and then Shookington is a foil. Lituation is a foil. And I think Sponsor is more of a foil too. Whereas Duelas, this one here, and then uh, Zam, don't really look as foily. They look more glittery, but they definitely come off when you swatch them. A little bit more foily so I'm really excited to play around with this palette but from what I did today like what sis I'm I'm here for it Jackie like you did that and I'm not just saying that because I love her this is actually a quality palette and again I have not used ABH uh, palettes ever so I was honored to be able to have a black woman's who is here for black other black women um, palette to use to be my first ABH experience. So if you guys have used the Jackie Ina palette and have um, your own thoughts about it, please leave them below. I'm very curious to hear what other people are thinking. But for me, Jackie, you get an A plus, sis. I'm here for this palette. It's definitely worth the 45 dollars that it costs. Um, so if you have not already purchased it, highly recommend that you do. All right, guys, make sure you follow me on all social medium at the girl W Big Hair. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.